Give me my phone so I can call my mama. You're not gonna call the one for the now, okay? Relax. Hey Siri! Relax. Hey Siri! Get the off of me! Get off of me! Hey, we're not gonna get off, get off, we're not gonna get off. On January 24th, 2023, at the Frontier ticket counter in Miami International Airport, two female passengers erupted into chaos after being informed by an employee that they could not board their flight to Atlanta due to being 45 minutes late. The situation escalated when one of the women threw a plastic sign holder at an employee, causing a severe injury to her nose. Here, when? What yeah, happened? Right here, when? Step over here a second. Not, here. I heard the motion right back. Uh huh. I think she threw some of the plexiglass or her phone. I'm not sure exactly. I just know some. The girl go ah, and then blood. Okay. And then they're raising, raising cane. Okay. Two females. I did take a picture of just or a video just I didn't get this which I wish I would have but I was more worried about you're like, watching it uh, making sure everything was why and right. the reason why is because it almost got out of hand there the officers approached rather gently if you ask me they approached smartly but like let's calm this thing down mm -hmm. so they did a good job there uh, the one girl was just off the hook uh, the one with the colored hair in the let's see so I can reference the girls and you'll know who's he had one in pink yeah, she's the second girl. So, this is the second girl. This is the first girl that caused the biggest, biggest commotion right there. Okay. So the one in the pink was causing the commotion, but not at first. She spawned out. She bled off the other girl. You know, she saw it going off. Get off my friend. Get off my friend. You know what I mean? Going off, dropping f bombs. That's because two officers approached her because she's out of control. Then she got out of control, and he tried to approach her, and then calm her down, and then she was like, don't touch me, I ain't done nothing wrong. So he was kind of like a little passive, okay. which is fine. Okay. Then they smartly moved her out of here, and she's going crazy and spazzing out, and they had to put her down to the ground at some point. You got it. I was like, they need to put her down. Like, they were like two nights out. Yeah. That's when the other girl got loose, and the two officers were down. I had gotten off my bike now, and I saw her coming, and I was ready to jump on her at any moment because... He had to weasel, he had to catch up, and she had full access to her gun, his gun, one of the officers. Right. That's what I was worried about, so that's why I stayed. Don't let I get the hell out of there. It's none of my business. Yeah, yeah. So I saw that they, he tackled her and did a great job, and they got her cuffed rather quickly. This one took a longer time, um, and that was pretty much Do you know what the fight was about? Did you hear what it was about? No, but I already suspect from Frontier, it's probably the world's dangerous job. Right. Frontier and Spirit ticket counter. Right, uh, right, right, right. It's probably because they, have to, uh, they don't have their seat or they don't have the, they have to pay for the boarding pass or pay for the extra bag, pay for your backpack. It's all on the airline, so okay. you, you know what I mean? Okay. But yeah, the officers approached smartly and then uh, did a good job. And, you know, I just was worried about their safety. That's why I kind of hung out. Okay, so you saw the throw the, the phone or the I plastic saw, thing, I saw you the, thought? I, think it's a, I think it's the plastic. Right. Cut her in the face. When I looked, because it was going crazy, I was kind of minding my own business. I kind of just sitting on my bike like this, what's going on? That's when I seen the other girl go like this and instant blood coming from her face from the ticket counter lady. Okay. And then the officers were about right here. They finally approached as they're going ballistic. And then the, did you see the them attack the officers at all at any time? Yeah, I did see the girl in the pink pants, the not the non-starter became a star, uh, uh, fuel to the fire. She did, I would say she did, in my opinion, she attacked the two okay, officers. Two officers, yeah. Yeah, and that's why I, I was this, I got <laughs> If she even went near that gun, I was gonna tackle the shit out of myself. <laughs> so, okay. Yeah, so I, I would say this, the, yes, first of all, they attacked the officer here, the one girl by herself. She was nasty and spinning and kicking and everything, and they did everything kind of trying Gently, to stand right, right. And so she was resisting arrest for sure and attacking assault on the officer. And then the other one was assault on two officers down on the ground and potentially she could have been shot. Okay. I mean, if, if, if he didn't know the situation and you saw this thing and you saw a girl running after her and the way their guns were sticking up like this, right. she's coming from the back. Okay. So, but yeah. Okay. Awesome. Thank you. And I know he has your name, so. Yeah. Good, I'll reach out to you if I need anything. Thanks, yeah, Jim. No problem. Easy day. Thanks, bud. Because yeah. yeah. if what, what's coming on? Where did you say where the phone going?
I'm getting the info. I'm getting her uh, info now. What happened? <laughs> Hello, there was passenger, it was a lot of uh, witnesses. Hey Morrison, he is the, uh, one of those TSA guys on the bike. Uh -huh. um, that's his contact number. He heard a lot of commotion, caught his attention, he looked over and saw the subject. Pink, the one in pink. The one in pink, to an unknown item. He didn't see what yeah, item it was. Yeah, yeah, yeah. This. What are this stuff? What's this called? This. Clipboard. Uh, uh, display, classic display. Classic yeah, display. Classic. Sign display. Classic sign display. Exactly. No, right through the supposed to be coming. I saw an unknown item on her face. Immediately saw blood coming from her face. Uh, very Miami Dade County officers arrived and saw the two subjects of system. What else do you need, bro? No, that's it, I guess. Uh, for now. She's being with them. Okay. She's got Raida Root, a uh, rate. She says you can't get a refund. You're the ones late. She was helping her friend mm -hmm. that was polite and everything else, but then they she goes, What, you're helping me her get the refund? I go, You guys can't fly. She got crazy I rate, grabbed one of these plastic uh, signs, mm -hmm. this place, and threw it, hit it right in the top of her nose and and then we had uh, a TSA tide agent. Heard the commotion and he, when he started turning around, they came this way, saw the thing flying and hitting her in the face. Right. 
The women faced charges of resisting arrest with violence, aggravated battery, and disorderly conduct. After each posted a $500 bond, they were released from jail. Additionally, both suspects received a lifetime ban from Frontier Airlines. Share your thoughts below and don't forget to subscribe.